Welcome back. You're live with Expresso on a very motivational Monday, but let's get real for a second here. Around 800 million people worldwide go hungry every day, yet almost 53% of fruit and vegetable doesn't even make it from farm to table. And in fact, nearly a third of all food. Now, Tatiana van Borman from WWF South Africa joins us in studio to shed some light on this global phenomenon. I'm going to say indictment on our structures. Is it the individual? Is it big business? <laughs> Tatiana, help me out here. Let's get some perspective. This is a really scary, especially when made up against the amount of people that are starving every day. Why is the world in the state that it's in at the moment? Yeah, Take I, a deep breath. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Graham. I, yeah, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, we use every available space we have almost that's not mountain or swampland or city or a desert, desert yeah. to grow food, and yet we're wasting a third of it globally. And compare that, as you say, to the numbers who are going hungry, and you've got a very serious problem. I mean, the, the numbers in South Africa are about 25% of people don't know where their next meal is coming from. And yet so much goes to waste. And we did some research at WWF a, a year or two ago to look at the, the, the land, the energy, the water in that waste. And just to give you a sense, to try and picture what a third of waste in this country, about 10 million tons, looks like, it would fill the city of Cape Town Stadium, the football stadium, five or six times over every year. The, oh. the energy, the electricity used to, to create that food from farm through to uh, the supermarket would uh, power the city of Johannesburg for four months. <laughs> uh, the water used to grow it is uh, 600,000 Olympic swimming pools a year. Could do with some of that yeah. in the Cape right now. Yes, you know? yeah. Um, and, and you think about the fuel and the knock-on effect on the environment exactly. as, a, as a secondary measure. I think we can understand, or at least kind of wrap our heads around fruit and vegetables being um, something that's not going to last that long. Mm. Um, but why those in particular? I mean, 53%, that's more than half yeah. of our fruit and veg that we are producing, doesn't get eaten. Uh, absolutely. And I, I think to, to give you and I and, the, and other people in their homes some uh, measure of, of um, comfort on that, a lot of it is at farm and processing and packaging. But we are none of us excused. I mean, that in South Africa, the, the, those fruit and vegetables are almost all irrigated. So it's a massive uh, environmental and financial cost that is not being consumed. And if you add cereals into that group, that's 70% of our food waste right there. So it's, it really requires urgent attention. And the thing to keep in mind is this is avoidable waste. It, it doesn't need to happen. How do we then avoid this waste as, as individuals, as yeah. big business? I know you deal with, with the market yes, on every yeah. possible level that you can. How do we address the situation? Yeah, so the, 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 the big actors in the supply chain are really where action needs to happen. But in the homes, and of course it differs if you're in the leafy suburbs or if you're in informal settlement where you don't even have a fridge. Such is life, yeah. yeah but in the, in the homes that can afford it, you know, it, it comes down to buying too much falling sucker to the, you know, buy one, get one free offer, cooking too much, more than you can eat in a sitting, and then, um, you know, uh, not eating the leftovers. And I think the first thing we do is just become aware, just become curious about why you're wasting, what you're wasting, being cognizant of that, and then actually implementing action. So plan before you shop. Cook more, you know, but that's a good thing. It's an opportunity. It's it's a cost saver, but it's also an opportunity to be with family and friends and in your home doing something very positive. So it's, feeding the soul in a sense. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I'm feeling incredibly guilty uh, as I talk to you because I'm just kind of ticking all those boxes or, or looking at the boxes that I'm not ticking in that yeah. regard. As a South African market, do, do we differ from the rest of the world? What are our biggest wastages here in SA? So some, some work we did with Woolworths found that in those homes, the sort of typical Woolworths customer, it is fruit, uh, leafy greens, spinach, lettuce, those sort of things, but also bread. We, we waste an extraordinary amount of bread. So that's where you get that sort of fruit and vegetables and cereals component coming in. 
Yeah. All those those perishables. Just yeah. educate yourself and That's take it, it on board. Yeah. I think as you guys live this life every day, yeah. um, you understand the gravitas behind that message. But I think we as individuals really do need to have a gut check moment. Tatiana, thank you so much for sharing some rather scary statistics <laughs> with us. But hopefully this has been a light bulb moment for you at home. Look at your own fridge. Look at your own cultural patterns. We can all make a difference. In fact, Abigail Donnelly is in our kitchen right now with a very surprising ingredients to make a difference right now.